Famous Autopsies Part 17, River Phoenix, Trigger Warning On the eve of Halloween 1993, River Phoenix embarked on a hard night of partying. He had just come off of a two-month sober stretch while filming the movie Dark Blood. According to members of his inner circle, he hit the ground running when he returned to LA in late October. He was in the middle of a raging bender, yet friends were still shell-shocked to learn of his death. He ended at the Notorious Vibe Room Club, which was co-owned by Johnny Depp. It was honestly a bit of a dive, which drew in high-status celebrities. It was a place free of both judgment and paparazzi stars could convene and socialize just like everyday civilians. But it was also known for its drug scene, an amenity that River was seen taking full advantage of on the night of his death. After midnight on the dawn of Halloween, River began to feel anxious and unwell. A bouncer escorted him outside for some fresh air, where he immediately paled and buckled to the ground. He was only 23 years old. The examination. Small scattered abrasions are seen on the knuckle of his right index finger and thumb. A red-purple bruise is present on his right shin. There are various marks over his chest as well as punctures on his neck from failed resuscitation attempts. There's a small amount of fluid in the sac that envelopes his heart, known as the pericardial sac. There are signs of slight bleeding beneath the surface of the inner membrane layer of the heart. Trace amounts of mucus is present in his nostrils and throat. His stomach is distended by gas. No medication remnants were found in his stomach contents. Toxicology shows deadly levels of morphine, as well as another substance that I cannot name but rhymes with yolk, along with another sedative. His death is classified as accidental and was caused by multiple drug intoxication, which triggered cardiac arrest. 